Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lucas and today guys, I want to show you guys how you guys can put some awesome gun muzzle flash effects into your videos. So before we begin, I want to show you guys a little test that I did with my friend Logan. Give me the last Dorito. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, mate. Calm, calm down, alright? Joke's on you! So let's get started with the video. So I got this gun here from a toy shop or a $2 shop or whatever I think it was. Um, for like five bucks and just get something that looks reasonably like a gun this is like a handgun I think and um, yeah alright so that's about it that you can do without the computer uh, so let's hop into the computer alright so the first thing you guys want to do is head over to the description of the video and there should be a link there which will link you to the Dropbox and you guys can download this folder here which is gun muzzle flash effects so once you've got that, um, you want to copy it and you want to make sure that's on your desktop. So once you've done that, you want to, to, you want to head over to Finder, you want to press Go, and you want to press Home. Alright, now that you're here, you want to head over to Movies, and then uh, Motion Templates and Titles. Here you just want to paste it in here, I've already pasted it in here because I've already got it installed. But once you've done that, you want to open Final Cut Pro. Alright guys, so now you want to make sure that it's been properly installed. We should go here, under titles you should find a folder which is gun effects. And here are lots of effects that you guys can use. Okay guys, so now you want to find about the spot where your gun muzzle flash is. Lovely face of me by the way. So you want to find about here where, where the gun recoils, that's about the best spot to put it I think. So you want to choose a gun flash that would probably suit it, maybe like this one maybe. I don't know, maybe like this one. So we're just going to drag that on top, like that. And then you'll probably zoom in because it's going to get pretty tight. Okay, so you just want to make sure it's perfectly aligned to where you want your your flash to be at. Um, you might have to move your pointer a bit. Right now, it is actually as a machine gun effect. You want to make it shorter so it's not that. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit again. And just want to shrink that a bit just so it's only one shot instead of load. So we just have a look at that. And that's, that looks about right. So now that we've done that, you want to make sure that this is actually aligned. So you've got all these controls here that you can use in your inspector uh, to make sure it's actually aligned. So I might um, I might move this over a bit. You can shrink it and make it larger if you want. Um, I think that's about right there. And the great thing with this plugin as well that it affects the environment, not just like a, a, a normal Kia effect, which is, is it's pretty crap. So... Uh, make sure that you've scaled that correctly and then you can play with some of these settings here like you can change the color of the flash um, well the, the surrounding flash I'm gonna keep it at orange some orange around about here maybe uh, but you can change that if you want you can change the flash you can change all of it basically which is really good um, you can also change um, which is really handy you can change in what direction the flash is pointing um, so you can change that here by going left and right, which is really cool. There we go. And there you go. So that, that's your gun muzzle flash here. Um, now all that's missing is maybe some uh, sound effects for your gun. Um, so I'm going to just copy and paste one in here that I had which is a 9mm gun shot. You guys can find it all over the internet. There's like literally so many. Um, and I'm not going to bother to put one in the um, description because there's literally... You'll, you'll probably find one. Like, I, I didn't have a problem finding one. So you just want to over that, over there, that. Make sure it's aligned with your with your flash. Like that. And there you go. Alright, guys. So now that you've put the muzzle flash in and the gun shot, you want to go out of your clip um, or whatever it is. I have mine in a compound clip just because it's easier for organizational purposes and I can just overlay stuff easier. Um, but yeah, that's about it. You wanna make sure you render it all. 
just to make it smooth um, when you're playing it back, just to make sure you've got no like lag. Um, so I always like to do that. And let's just review what we've done here, which was right here. There we go. So just for that small effect, I think it was really worth it. It looks so much better, especially because as you can see here, it really it lights up around where the flash is. So it looks a lot more realistic than those crappy Lumakia green screen ones. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was fun to make and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, remember to like, comment and subscribe. It would really be amazing if you guys did that. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. See you guys next time.